Hallelujah. Look what you did, Lord God. You have redeemed us. When we were not thinking about you, God, you came down and you rescued our souls from the grave. Can somebody bless God for that? Hallelujah. Can somebody shabbat God for the res resurrection power, for the anointing? Hallelujah. He has redeemed our soul. Hallelujah. And tonight as we gather for worship in this holy convocation, I pray you'll mingle with us. I pray, oh God, you'll give us a mighty breakthrough. Father, if there's any sick among us right now, we command healing and deliverance. We speak healing right now, hallelujah. And we declare that the enemy will back off right now in the name of Jesus. Father, let the anointing flow in this house. Can somebody get an agreement with me and said, Lord, flow in this house. Flow in this house. Flow in this house. Can you open your mouth and help me declare it? Flow in this house. Flow in this house. Flow in this house. Flow in this house. Be exalted. Hallelujah. Be exalted in this house. Be magnified in this house. Oh God, I feel your presence right here. I feel the anointing right here. Be glorified in this house. Oh God, we come in agreement. Lord God Almighty, that you will speak to your people tonight. We come in agreement, God Almighty, that those that are bound will be loose. <laughs> those that are bound, loose right now. Before the service starts, before praise and worship, before any activities, we declare the atmosphere loose. Oh God, I said we declare the atmosphere loose. We declare the atmosphere loose. Oh God Almighty, thank you God. Thank you, arise in this house. Arise in this house. As we lift holy hands to you, arise, anoint, echo shy, anointing, right, yeah, 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 rise in this house, rise in this house, rise in this house, rise in this house. We come against the forces of darkness, we come against the hand of the adversary now, in the name of Jesus. Holy angels, take your position in this house, angels of God. Take your position. Lord, mingle with greater grace tonight. Mingle with greater grace. Oh, shut up, bye, bye, bye. Mingle with us, God. Mingle with us, God. We declare visitation. Mighty visitation. Mighty visitation. Mingle with us. Mingle with us, God. Let your power fall. Let the glory fall in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Turn. 
Tonight, you are welcome to dwell in the sanctuary and the gathering of the saints tonight. Hallelujah. Live inside of me. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are as possible as we gather on the altar that is our custom here for a time of consecration hallelujah 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 just inviting the saints you know our usual custom we gather at the altar for a time of consecration before we go into our service hallelujah have thine own way 
Could you stand over here? Let us pray. Righteous, eternal, and loving Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we do come before you. I want to give you thanks for life, O oh God. As we are here tonight, Lord, I pray your blessing upon this holy convocation. We pray, O oh God, for the moving of the Holy Spirit. O oh God, let your name be exalted among the earth. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll guide us throughout the course of this session, Lord. I will pray, Lord God, for the one that should bring the word tonight. I pray, Lord God, that it go forth with power. The seed that will be soon, Lord, will fall on good ground. Oh, Lord Jesus, we pray, Heavenly Father, for spiritual strength. We pray, O oh God, that you guide us. In the name of Jesus, you inspired us, Lord. We pray, O oh God, for the saving of souls. We pray, Lord God, that many men and women will surrender their life as a result of this convocation, Lord. O oh God, we pray for the leadership of this organization. We want to give you thanks for those that came from overseas to worship with us tonight, Lord, and for the rest of the week. Oh, Lord God, hear us while we pray and give us strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we shout hallelujah? If you're glad to be in God's service one more time, can I hear you shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord our God. At this time, we're going to invite the choir to march in, in Jesus' name.
the Savior crucified Seemed like nobody really cared that he died at all Seems like no one cared They didn't know that it all fit in his plan Said if he died he would rise again on the third day Seemed like nobody really cared that he died at all They didn't know that it all fit in his plan Said if he died he would rise again on the third day Adore. At this time, we're going to have our scripture. We're going to ask you all to stand. Our scripture reading will be taken from Matthew, 4, Matthew 24, verse 14, and Matthew 6, verse 33. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, Lord, what will we do? Wanting you, Lord, each day, show us your perfect. the name of the Lord. We're going to read together Matthew 24 verse 14 first. Praise the name of the Lord. Here beginneth and this gospel of the kingdom 
shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Matthew 6, verse 33. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us read. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We praise the name of the Lord. We shout hallelujah. If you're happy to be alive and still in the land of the living, can I see you just wave your hands? Can I hear you shout hallelujah? Can I hear you shout thank you, Jesus? If you know that if it had not been for the grace and the mercy of the living God, that you would not be here standing this evening, let me hear you shout thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That sounded like it was coming from the tip of your tongue. So I want you to say it now from the depths of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. I just want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to greet our bishop. I want to greet all the ministers, the saints, all the visiting saints. Praise the name of the Lord. Those that are joining us by way of Zoom and Facebook, we welcome you. And at this time, we're going to invite our bishop with the opening remarks in Jesus' name. Put your hand together and bless the name of God. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on, everybody. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on, everybody. Praise the Lord. Ask the person beside you, don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. You may be seated. Indeed, it's our pleasure to once again welcome you to our annual convocation with the theme, the gospel of the kingdom. When we talk about the gospel of the kingdom, we're referring to to the good news of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. These terms are interchangeably, interchangeably in reference to the work of our Lord Jesus Christ on planet earth and is transformative in effect on the life and conduct of humanity. The term kingdom is translated from the Greek word Basilia, which means the realm in which a sovereign king rules. Throughout the New Testament, beloved, the word kingdom consistently refers to the rule of Christ in the hearts of the believers. Although the kingdom active in the world is not of this world, or of, it would be, of, or rather, of the world system. We hope that this will truly be a transforming experience on our growth and our spirituality as we gather together to hear the word of God and to listen to his servants as they bring forth God's word in relation to the kingdom of God. And so, ladies and gentlemen, whether you're here from overseas or in Jamaica or via the internet, we want to welcome you 
to Convocation 2024. Put your hand together and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's my pleasure at this time to declare Convocation 2024 officially open. God bless you. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Oh, righteousness, righteousness peace, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Blessed is the kingdom of God. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That is the kingdom of God. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on everybody. Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be a part of the kingdom? Come on, come on everybody. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to invite the praise and worship team at this time Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord Jesus. on Sister Chevonet, we're just going to start. The preaching of the gospel will soon be over, soon be over, soon be over. The preaching of the gospel will soon be over, all over the world. The preaching of the gospel will soon be over, soon be over. Soon be over, the preaching of the gospel will soon be over, all over the world, the all over the world, all over the world, all over the world, all over the world, the preaching, the preaching of the gospel will soon be over, soon be over. Soon be over, the preaching of the gospel will soon be over, all over the world.
Jesus. Oh God, you look at the heart. Even when there are no words, Lord God. Even when we want to express our passion towards you. Even when we want to express our love towards you. There are no words, Jesus. All we have to say is, oh, hallelujah. Let's just worship God in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. There are no words, God, but God, we look to you. There are no words, Jesus, but we honor you in this place, God. You deserve the glory, God. Hallelujah. You deserve the glory, Jesus. There are no words, God, but you know our heart, Jesus. Hallelujah.
I 
We came to see our God. We came to have an encounter with the living God. We came to be changed, to be transformed, to be renewed in our mind. Praise the name of the Lord. The God who apprehended us. Hallelujah. The God who chased after us. Let us chase after him. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us give him our all. Let us empty ourselves before him. And when we leave here, we can leave here full hallelujah come on we don't want to just be we don't want to just be ordinary we want to leave here we want to leave this place transform we pray that the spirit of the living god will fall upon each and every one of us in this place can we give our can you give the lord a praise 
can we give the Lord a praise? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This time we're going to have the offering and we're going to ask my aunt, Auntie Arlene, to come and pray the opening prayer in relation to the offering. Praise the name of the Lord. At this time, before we have the offering, praise the name of the Lord, I'm going to invite our bishop to introduce our guest ministers and our guest speakers and those that are visiting with us tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and lift your hands and give the Lord a praise. Amen, amen. What a mighty God we serve. Say, what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Again, I want to welcome you to Convocation 2024. Amen. As we tabernacle under the theme, the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. We expect that God will speak to us in a very special way. In this convocation, we've been looking forward to this time all year. Amen. We want to thank God. The time has come. And we know that God has brought us here. When he summoned his people to come together, he has something to say to us. So I want everybody to say, speak, Lord. Come on, speak, Lord. Are you ready to hear what God has to say? Then say, speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Hallelujah. And we are going to be willing to listen to God's voice and to respond accordingly in the name of Jesus Christ. So let me welcome everyone in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Those who are from Jamaica and from the United States of America. Praise God. And amen. England, UK, and Canada, and all over the world. Amen. Put your hand together and bless the name of the Lord for all our, amen, guests tonight. Amen. We have from the beautiful city of Avon Park, amen, a large delegation of saints, praise God, and ministers from Avon Park. And I'm just thrilled to have them here tonight. Praise God. Led by Bishop Wayne Williams. And we have with him Bishop Clarence Carter. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Pastor Maxwell, who is now no stranger here. He's been here before. We have one minister, Minister Darren. Minister Darren, who is here for the very first time. Let's make him welcome. Come on, give him a great, a great temple welcome. That doesn't sound very welcoming. Come on, put your hand together and welcome. Yes. Amen. And I'm sure before you leave your amen minister, you will love Jamaica and want to come back again. Amen. Yeah, man. Everything nice, man. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Good to see all the ministers from local ministers. I have Pastor Bows in the house tonight. Amen. Put your hand together for Pastor Bowles from Shiloh Apostolic Linders Road. And to tell you the truth, he should be my pastor because that's where I was birth. Come on and bless the name of God. Found the Lord at Linders Road. Amen. When Linders Road was as another place. And we thank God for the work of the late Bishop E.R. Foster and wife that continues. Amen. Until now. And we give the Lord thanks and praise. Hallelujah. Amen. We have Minister Powell in the house. Elder Powell from Fellowship Apostolic. God bless you. Amen. There's a brother here all the way from uh, Seir. That's the Apostolic Ministries of Higher Dimension. Praise God. Akeem Blake. Make him welcome. Amen. God bless you, sir. And we were there on Saturday, on Tuesday, praise God, at the higher 
Apostolic Church of Higher Dimension in St. Elizabeth. And we had a great time. They will be here in their numbers, God's willing, on Sunday night. Amen? Put your hand together and bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Good to have, amen, Mr. and Mrs. Keith Morris in the house. Praise God. Please stand, sir. Amen. That's my daughter and her husband. Come on, put your hand together. Bless the name of the Lord for them. Hallelujah. And we're happy that they're here with us tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Amen. And um, I, when she said she was going to be here, I was so glad because she now, amen, resides in California. But just pay us a visit. Come on, put your hand together and bless the name of God. Come on and bless God, somebody. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? Amen. So we're thankful for those ministers. Let me introduce our own ministers. We have Elder Scarlett. Praise God, Overseer Scarlett. And he's mainly responsible for the planning of this conference. And we put our hands together for him. Amen. And his team that has put this conference together. Elder Bennett, who prayed the opening prayer. Amen. I think I see Pastor Francis down there. And Lady Francis. Amen. All right. And I, uh, where's that? Praise God. Praise the Lord. Yes, uh, we have Minister Levi. I was going to attempt to introduce, uh, rather to mention all the people from Avon Park. I wonder if I'll do a good job. I know we have Minister Isaacs over there. Can you please stand? Praise the Lord. You'll hear from these people during the conference. Elder Morris, no stranger. Right, it's a Britannia, right? Praise God. God bless you. Please stand. Good to have you in the house. Amen. First Lady Williams, praise God. And of course, Sister Claire and Sister um, Jennifer, praise the name of the Lord. Put your hand together and bless the Lord for them. Amen. I hope I haven't overlooked anybody, but we thank God for our own ministry. I think I see Pastor Murray somewhere. Yes, Pastor Murray. Amen. And of course, you have Pastor Joseph Reed, Elder Walden Robb. Just, just wave your hands, Elder Walden. Let them see who you are. Praise God. Amen. So we are thankful. God bless you as the folks, amen, join us. You'll hear uh, from them. Praise God. I'm going to ask uh, Minister Daniel to come and just greet you since he's coming for the first time. Amen. If he could come and greet you. Put your hand together and well, make him welcome in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just excited to be here this tonight. Uh, it's my first time. Um, Pastor Maxwell asked if I could join. I just wanted to greet you from Lighthouse Church of Christ in Winter Haven, Florida. Like I said, I'm just excited to be here. I know it won't be my last time, so y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's, it's really catching. You know, once you come to Jamaica one time, amen, you're going to have, you know, the urge to come again. I don't know what's happening to Jamaica this weekend. Can you, did you see the traffic on the road? I don't know them things that people have no money, but people have money. Come on and bless the Lord, everybody. I could hardly get to some place today because of the traffic on the road. Amen. In addition to that, we have a lot of visitors coming to our shores, for which we are grateful. Amen. And they turn up at my gate just like that. Last night, some Peruvians turn up needing shelter. So we get them in. And then the following night, some Costa Ricans turn up. And they say, what's happening here? <laughs> Jamaica's name gone all over the world. And we're glad for that because as long as we are hospitable, show them love, they're going to come back to our shores. Amen. And we will benefit. Come on, put your hand together and bless the name of the Lord. God bless you. Over now to our moderator. Amen. Sister Demita. Franklin, God bless you. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? 
Hallelujah. I'm going to invite Sis Sister Williams, I call her Auntie Arlene, to bless the offering for us. And I'm going to ask Sister Beckford to take lead in the collection of the offering tonight in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Can we just stand for the blessing of the offering? Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you tonight for your gift that you have given unto us. Lord, you have granted us the strength to walk into your house tonight. And you have blessed us, O oh God, that we can bring fruit into your house. I pray tonight, Lord, as your people come to give, that they will come with joy and an expectation. Because I know, Lord, that the windows of heaven are open and your blessing is about to fall. Lord, we thank you tonight for every person in this room that's about to sow a seed, God, because you're sowing into good ground. And Lord, that which you have declared, that if we sow, Lord God, there is a return. I know tonight, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are granting unto us the blessings of the Lord. Lord, I pray for those that have not a seed, but I pray in the name of Jesus that they too will be able to partake in this and they too will be blessed. Thank you tonight for that which you're about to give unto us, pressed down and running over in Jesus' name. We'll now have the ministry of the choir in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight is missionary night, and I know. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask, I know Sister Beckford is the one that is in charge of the offering tonight. I'm going to ask her to make her appeal in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Tonight it's good to be in the house of the Lord in our convocation. Tonight is missionary night. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are here to do our best. And I know everyone here is missionaries. You are on business for God. And we are kingdom people. And let me see all the kingdom people raise their hands. If you are part of the kingdom, raise your hand. That if you are part of the kingdom, it takes money to build the kingdom. Not prayer and the word alone. Everything to build the kingdom of God. There are poor people in the church that need to be fed. There are children that need to help. So every cent goes to the kingdom of God for the work of the Lord. So at this time, I'm going to ask all those who have a $5,000 to come forward. Praise the name of the Lord. And um, see all my delegates on the platform, kingdom people, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And my good friends, them from abroad, I will take a 100 US or 50 US from you all. So. Just raise your hand. Stand. The ushers will come to you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You know, I love to help the poor. I love to help the needy. You know, bless the Lord, Bishop. Sister. Thank you, sir. God bless you. 
Any more 5,000? Come, I want 25,000, please. 20 people with 5,000. 20 people gave me $5,000. Bless you, sir. Any on the choir? 20 people I want $5,000 from. All the missionaries. Come, put your mouth, put your cash where your title is. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Come, missionaries. How many do you have, missionaries? Itzel? How much? One, two, three. How much do you have? Four. Come on, we don't even reach ten. I don't even reach ten. You know, the target is 250,000. Be shame feet, me no want to talk too much. God bless you, Brother Walker. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Your store basket will never dry. How many more? Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, man. Give it no people. Give it with love. Store it above. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love. Store it above. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love, store it above. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love, store it above. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love, store it above. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love, store it above. Give it with a willing heart. Give it with love. Continue to sow in the kingdom. Ever bless you in Jesus' name. Back to the choir.
invite our bishop who will introduce our speaker and who will also give the opportunity to the ministers that are visiting to welcome us and also the choir who will minister again before the ministry of the praise the lord praise the lord everybody walk and talk in the new jerusalem way hallelujah god bless you you may be seated just by way of welcoming we have Sister Elaine Stennett with us. How could we forget that? From Jacksonville. From Dino Road and Jacksonville. Come on, put your hand together. Bless the Lord. Glad to see you, Sister Elaine. And let me just introduce the choir director. The choir director tonight is none other than Bishop Jeremy McGregor. Amen. The singing bishop. Praise God. And he's doing a wonderful job tonight, amen, assisting our choir. At this time, we're going to ask Pastor Bouse to come and to really give greetings in Jesus' name. Pastor Bouse, put your hand together and receive him in Jesus' name. We bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Let me greet our bishops, presiding bishop, other bishops, ministers, saints in the most highly exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise him. I am I, I'm marveled at the coincidence because Minister, well, Bishop Williams and I just had a little talk a while ago. We're talking about Shiloh's convention and to see the, the coincidence that it is kingdom that we're pursuing. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And I think it is an apt place to focus our attention in this time because all other sorts of things get priority and get attention but the kingdom of God seem to, to, to miss a lot of people. Shall we praise Jesus? But I saw in the scripture that was, that's posted there that when the kingdom of God is being installed, there are some other things that come with it because the God that we serve need us to know that the kingdom of God is life-changing. It is purpose-driven. So there is healing with the kingdom of God. There is a turnaround in the thought process. If you're a part of the kingdom, I'm saying to young, old, and middle-aged tonight, be a proud member of the kingdom. Stand up and declare 
own your place, own your rightful position in the kingdom. We, we are not the tail by any means. We are not coincidental by any means. God has structured us and has put us at a place of prominence because kingdom belongs to us. And as kingdom builders and kingdom citizens, stand, stand tall and declare that our God is alive. Jesus is well. May God continue to bless you for Convocation 2024 in Jesus' name. Oh, bless the Lord. Come on, put your hand together and bless the Lord for him. All right. You're going to have to come back here and preach. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to invite you, Pastor Bowles. You're very much a part of this, this work. And for those of you who don't know, he used to worship here. Amen. So we thank God for you. Just to be a way of the reminder, tomorrow will be a great day. Hello. We begin with prayer tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Amen. Right here in the sanctuary. At 10 o'clock will be a morning session. And um, there will be some workshops, I think, tomorrow. The kingdom theme for tomorrow. Just want to make sure I get the theme for tomorrow. Every day we have a sub-theme. Amen? For the conference. And I'm um, not sure if you have it on here. The structure of the kingdom tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the structure of the kingdom. Every kingdom must have a structure. Amen? So there will be workshops tomorrow. The youth will have their workshops tomorrow. Our main speaker tomorrow in the day will be none other than Bishop Wayne Williams. Come on and bless the name of the Lord. And so he'll be dealing with the structure of the kingdom. It might be assisted by Bishop Carter. I don't know how to want to work it. Praise God. Bishop Carter. But they'll work it together. Amen. Because they're in charge of all the day sessions, the main day sessions, both today, tomorrow, and on Monday. Amen. Praise the Lord. One of the features of this convocation this year is, uh, of course, every year we have our uh, prayer breakfast sponsored by the ladies. But this year is special because the prayer breakfast will be held in our own facility. Owned by Greater Grace Temple in the Portmore Mall. 5,000 square feet of space, air conditioned. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Tell your neighbor, you don't want to miss that. Come on, talk to somebody beside you. Tell him, you don't want to miss that. And that has been on the vision agenda of Greater Grace for a long time to have this kind of facility. And God made it possible. Up to now, I still think I'm dreaming. Hello. But if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Let me keep on dreaming. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. And put your hands together and bless the name of the Lord. And one of the things the Lord showed me is that we locate our buildings and things in some remote places. Some remote places. And how many know that property has to do with location, location, location. Hello, somebody. Location, location, location. So we decided that we would locate this prop, rather this uh, facility in the Portmore Mall, and it's creating waves. Amen. So on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock will be our prayer breakfast. And I'm told that the entire directors of the strata will be in attendance. Come on and give God a praise. They are so glad that we have come to the mall and enhance the facilities. Praise God. And we just thank the Lord for that. It's not a church. It's a multi-purpose center. But we're going to keep church there. Come on, put your hand together and bless the name of God. Come on and bless God somebody. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. And it makes a difference. Amen. So we thank God. It's being done now. And we know that God is going to bless us as we worship together. Then on Saturday, 
evening with the children will be in action. Children of the kingdom. Everybody say children of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. And that Saturday morning, I think on Saturday morning, our theme will be, amen, women in the kingdom. Ro the role, rather, of the kingdom woman. The role of the kingdom woman. Amen. And we have a sister all the way from Oteris that's coming to break the word and that morning. And we're looking forward to that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on and bless the Lord. Come on and bless the Lord. Amen. And we know we're going to have a great time. We're going to be joined by other churches as we continue to worship the Lord. Amen. So God bless you. Amen. Pastor Janeri Ennis, Dr. Janeri Ennis, affectionately called the preaching machine. Pastor of John, Dr. John Ennis, Janeri Ennis rather, is a humble, anointed, and dedicated worker of God's kingdom. At the age of 14, Pastor Ennis gave his life to the Lord and began to serve in various capacities in his local church assembly at Russell Penn. Pentecostal Tabernacle Church under the leadership of Pastor Calvert Otter. He served as a musician, choir member, Sunday school teacher, and minister. While in high school, he was also very influential and led worship services on the corridor during his lunch breaks. Praise God, where he would preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, many of his fellow schoolmates were saved and transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Somebody to give God thanks for that. After graduating from high school, he was led into full-time ministry and obediently yielded to the call of God for his life. Although he had other plans for himself, Proverbs 19.21 says, Amplified Bible, many plans are in a man's mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand. Upon moving to Kingston, he transferred his membership to Greater Grace Temple Apostolic Church under the leadership of Bishop Dr. Holdsworth. After marrying the angel of his life, Evangelist Megan Ennis, the Dr. Ennis migrated to the United States of America and served at the First United Church the Tabernacle International Ministries under the leadership of the presiding prelate Bishop Lloyd Faulkner, where he now serves as a youth pastor. His marital union has produced three handsome sons. Emmanuel, Janeri, Jr., and Jaisiel. Pastor Ennis has a passion for seeking souls and seeing them saved and people walking into the purpose of God for their life. Pastor Ennis' preaching itinerary has afforded him the privilege to preach all across the island of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Curacao, and all over the United States of America. He achieves his honor doctorate degree in at Cannon University in July 2021 and a lot more academic achievements. Praise the name of the Lord. We are proud of him. And so after the put your hand together and bless the name of the Lord for him. So after the choir ministers, the next voice you will hear is doc, that of Dr. Janeri Ennis. Make him welcome in Jesus' name.
hands lift those hands if you know him to be wonderful if you know him to be wonderful in your life hallelujah come on every hand uplifted every hand uplifted if he's wonderful to you why won't you just open up your mouth and say something lovely to him? Let your voice be heard. I can't hear nobody. Come on, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Tell him how awesome he is in your life. Tell him how powerful he is in your life. Ah, oh, salvation and glory. The Lord our God, He's wonderful. I said, The Lord our God, cut the house up a little bit, sound man, and give me some more sound. The Lord our God, He's wonderful. Would you be so kind? Just testify to the person to your right and your left turn, look at them, tell them, God has been wonderful in my life. Come on, say it with some conviction. Say it with some intentionality. God has been wonderful in my life. Come on, lift those hands and just open up your mouth. If I get a little bit more, I'll be alright. Come on, lift those hands and open up your mouth. Come on, you have to come to convocation with a praise. We just need about five or six praises to permeate the building with the sound of your mouth. Nothing happens in the kingdom until you open up your mouth. Ada, Sha. Come on, somebody, open your mouth. Open your mouth. You, you don't need nobody to coach you to praise him. You don't need nobody to tell you what to say. God's been too good to you. Somebody open up your mouth and praise him. Somebody open up your mouth and praise him. Put my bass back on. Put the bass back on. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. God is good. I say God is good. And all the time God is good. Do me a favor. If you would move out of your seat, greet at least five persons and tell them there's a miracle in the house for you tonight. Amen. Come on, across the aisles, do what you got to do. Tell them there is a miracle in the house for you tonight. I believe that God is going to do something powerful in your life. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise. Somebody been praying. Somebody been believing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Before you take your seat, would you clap your hands, rock back your head and shout hallelujah. Would you shout hallelujah one more time? 
Amen. Praise God. Turn to your neighbor now and say, neighbor, you're sitting in the praising row. Uh-huh. Praise the name of the Lord. A real praise. I would have given him a praise right there. Praise God. God is good. God bless you. You may take your liberties. What indeed a privilege it is. Praise God to be the house of the Lord. One more time. Praise God to praise him and to lift up this great God. The right appended. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. To the Lord our God. For the Lord our God. Is mighty. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. And we just honor him tonight. Amen. Praise God. Do me a favor. Amen. Praise God. We just want to honor the Lord for his presence. Which is already in this house. Power of the Lord is already in this house. And where God's spirit is. There is a liberty. And anything can happen. Hello somebody. Praise the name of the Lord. You're under the atmosphere that anything can happen tonight. Cancer can dry up. High blood pressure can come down. Somebody can speak in tongues that have never been, that have never spoken in tongues before. Hello, somebody. Don't shake your head. Open up your mouth. I promise you, I'm the same like when I left here last time. Life and death is not in the power of your shake head. Nothing happened when you shake your head, but something happened when you open your mouth. When you're a child of God, you walk in a thermostat anointing. You're not a thermometer, praise God. You don't check the temperature. And that's what, so, that's what some people do when they come to the house of the Lord. They just check in the temperature, see what's going on. But when you're a child of God, you walk with a thermostat anointing. You have the power to change your temperature. And we go and turn it up, praise God, a little tonight until every devil run out of praise be the name of Lord Vineyard Town. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We just honor the Lord tonight. Amen. To be here. Do me a favor. Would you stand and help me celebrate the Lord? Praise God for the angel of this house. Amen. And praise God. Our fine, noble, preaching, educator. Praise God. Bishop. Amen. Oldsworth. Come on. Put your hands together for him and celebrate him. Amen. You can do better than that. Clap better for my bishop. Amen. Praise God. We celebrate him. Amen. Praise God. And thank God for his life and an awesome example that he is. I was just reflecting. You may be seated. I was just reflecting, praise God, and today and just looking back over my journey because ever so often you got to roll back the curtains of memory. And I remember, praise God, the Lord uh, brought him in my life at a very critical time. Time, praise God, when I was down, praise God, and almost out. And the Lord used him, praise God, to speak life to me. I was just sharing with my wife, praise God. I remember days when I would uh, travel, praise God, from Linstead, praise God. And he would pay my bus fare. I don't know if you remember, Bishop. He would pay my bus fare to come from Linstead, sit in his office, and then he speak life to me and then feed me and give me fear to go back home. And, and, I, and I certainly praise God, want to thank God and thank you, sir. I'll never forget, praise God, the kindness, praise God, and the blessing that you have been in my life, praise God. And of course, it would, amen, praise God, not be good not to honor even Mother Oldsworth, praise God, who have gone on to glory. Amen. She was just such a gentle soul. Amen. Truly, Mr. The Body of Christ, and we thank the Lord for her life and legacy. Praise the name of the Lord. To Pastor Roden, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We praise the Lord for her and to this quorum of pastors and bishops. Praise be the name of the Lord. Awesome choir. Can we put the, our hands together for this awesome choir? Still singing under the anointing of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And all you saints of God. I greet you in the most potent and competent name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you in this name, praise God, because it is the only name, praise God, that heaven recognizes. And it's the only name, praise God, that hurt adores. At the name of Jesus. If you know the scripture and you didn't say something right there, praise God, you're out of order. I said, at the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow and every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. And so I greet you tonight in Jesus' name. Also want to bring you greetings, praise God, from my pastor and bishop. 
Amen. Praise God. Bishop Lloyd. Amen. Leslie Faulkner and co-pastor Faulkner. Amen. And the first United family, praise God, spoke to him today. And he asked me, praise God, to convene greetings to the church. So please receive greetings in Jesus' name. Praise God. Good to see everybody in the house of the Lord. Certainly, I'm home tonight. And it's just awesome, praise God, to be home. Praise the name of the Lord. It's good when you can go and come back home. Amen. Praise God too. Amen. Evangelist Valerie Walker. Amen. Praise God. Still my mom. Still looking so beautiful. Can you praise the Lord for her? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God is good. Amen. Praise God. Good to see everyone. Praise God. Tonight I see Bishop Call. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, men of God. Bishop McGregor. Elder Levy, praise God. I don't want to start calling name. I get myself in trouble. But it's just good to see everyone out tonight, praise God, in the service of the Lord. Amen. I brought my girlfriend with me tonight, praise God. My girlfriend and life partner to eternity. Beautiful woman that the Lord has blessed me with and I'm satisfied. Same one I have when I was here the last time. Amen. Praise God. The lovely lady Megan Ennis. Can you stand, baby? Let them see I'm taking good care of you. Amen. Praise God. Bless the Lord for her. Amen. Praise God. She has been with three sons. Amen. Praise God. And she's still looking fine. She's just a tremendous blessing. Amen. Praise God to my life. A professor was asked, amen. Praise God. He was uh, speaking, praise God, at the graduation. And they asked him, what's the difference between finish and complete? Amen. And he yeah, looked at them, praise God. And he thought about it. And he says, well, amen. When you married the wrong woman, you're finished. <laughs> But if you married the right one, praise God, then you are complete. Amen. And we just thank the Lord for her. Amen. And that's my baby son, praise God. Amen. Jehaziel. Amen. The other two is back home. Praise be the name of the Lord. But good to have them with me tonight. God is good. It's good to be in convocation, praise God, 2024. And I believe that there is a word in the, in the house for somebody tonight. How many of you came for a word from the Lord? Amen. Praise God. What a powerful theme. Praise God. You're working with. Praise God. And this year, amen. The gospel of the kingdom. And I hear, praise God, one speaker, praise God, said earlier, we don't hear much about the kingdom. Praise God much no more. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. But we are part of the kingdom of God. Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise God. And I know Bishop, praise God, is just an expert preacher and teach of the kingdom you've been doing this praise God I was I was just thinking about it praise God and Bishop been teaching and preaching on the kingdom for some time now and I don't think praise God anybody in this room praise God can do it like he do but I believe that there is a word in the house for somebody tonight grab your Bibles in hand I'm not going to wear your patient tonight amen praise be the name of the Lord but I've been considering the mind of God and seeking God concerning amen praise God what to say praise God to the body of Christ I believe, praise God, that there is a word in the house tonight. Somebody says, speak to me, Lord. Amen. Just want to read six verses tonight, praise God. Amen. From three passages of scripture. Amen. Praise God. Luke chapter number 14. And we're going to observe, praise God, verses number 28 and 29 and Matthew 24. Amen. Praise God and the 14th verse. And then we're going to jump over back to Esther chapter number 4 and verses number 14. It's a lot of passage. Praise be the name of the Lord, but it is only four verses. Amen. When you find it, I'm going to invite you, praise God, to stand for the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. God is good. Amen. Praise God. Somebody say, I'm still here. Still here. Amen. Praise God. Someone, can you give me a little bit more monitor? Just a little bit more monitor for me. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Luke chapter number 14. Praise God. And Verses number 28 and verses number 29. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Luke 14 verses 28 and 29. When you got it, say I got the word. Pray for me, praise be the name of the Lord. I came in service a little late tonight. Praise God. We got in late. Amen. Praise God. I've been traveling. Praise God for us since last night. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. We just got in. God, how I rest. Praise be the name and I'm up. Praise God. But I believe if you pray for me, amen, God will do something tonight. Amen, somebody. 
Amen. Luke 14 verses number 28. If you got the words, I got the word. All right, praise God. Let us read together verse 28 and verse 29. For which of you intending to build a tower sit it not down first and count at the cost whether he have sufficient to finish it lest happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. All that behold it begin to mock him. St. Matthew's Gospel chapter number 24 from your team text tonight. Amen. Praise God. In verses number 14. Then Esther 4, 14. If you got St. Matthew chapter number 24, 14, so I got the word. In this gospel, somebody say this gospel. Of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. It's the chapter number four. Verses, praise God, number 14. Praise the name of the Lord. For if the hall together hold at thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who know it? Whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. If you'll close your Bible, praise God. Or grab a hold to the person hand next beside you, praise God. And let us pray tonight. Thank you, sir. of God. Amen. Pray God, pray with me. String some and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you tonight, God, for this opportunity, Lord God, to stand before the body of Christ. One more time, God, to speak your words. I consider myself, God, as nothing much than a few pounds of clay. I believe, God, that if you would trust me one more time with the anointing, if you would cause me to function in the sequence of your revelation. God, that something supernatural will happen in the house tonight. Father, we stand in our right as sons of God. And we bind the prince of the war of the here. We shut down the rulers of darkness. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. I stand in apostolic grace and authority. I serve every doppy devil demon notice right now. Flee this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus Christ, Satan, we shut you down tonight. We cancel out all your plans and all your assignment. We bind human spirit. Give no space for destruction tonight. Every spirit, God, that would oppose that which you have intended to do tonight, we render it powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. Make me too hot for the devil to handle. Preach me one more time, God, until the body of Christ is blessed. Use me, God, for the purpose, O oh God, and the glory of God. Let not one person leave the same way they came. Speak to every mind, every heart, and every soul. Let there be a revival in the house tonight. Let there be a shaking tonight. In the name of Jesus, let somebody receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Save somebody. Heal somebody. Glory. Glorify yourself tonight. Oh God, touch us one more time. Sit upon us one more time. Glorify your name in this house. In Jesus' name. And let the church shout in Jesus' name. Just before you take your seat, praise God tonight. I want to help me preach this word. I want to use tonight for a sermonic thought. Praise God. Finish your kingdom assignment. Finish your kingdom assignment. Turn to the person next beside you. Look them square in their eyes. And if you're afraid to look in their eyes, look them in their forehead, praise God, and say, neighbor, finish your kingdom assignment. Turn to the person on the other side and say, neighbor, come on, say that with some power, with some conviction. Say, neighbor, you are called 
in the kingdom for such a time as this. Clap your hands, open up your mouth, give him a praise and you may be seated. Amen. In the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You're called in the kingdom for such a time as this. Lay hands on yourself and shout, it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Oh! Thank you, Lord. Called in the kingdom for such a time. As this. In Matthew's gospel, praise God, the theme scripture that you're working with, praise God, for this convocation, praise be the name of the Lord. Jesus uh, outlined, praise God, uh, the mandate, the assignment for all who would consider themselves to be preachers and teachers of the word of God in just a few words and, and while he outlined praise God this mandate he also provides us with some eschatological insights concerning things that will happen to praise God in the end time Jesus declared uh, that this gospel of the kingdom should be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end be. And somebody said, okay, then what about, praise God, those places that never hear the gospel of Jesus Christ? How is it that God is going to judge a nation that didn't even know him. It's right there in the text. This gospel shall be preached. It's prophetically while it's informative because it's suggesting to us that this gospel have so much power that it's going to permeate the entire world. There is no demon that can stop this gospel. There is no forces that can stop this gospel. Praise be the name of the Lord. He said, this gospel shall be preached in all the world. Are you with me, somebody? Fasten your seatbelt, praise God. We're going to have church, I promise you. I'm just a little bit tired, but I I'm going to get there. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, you want you to watch because this gospel, this gospel here, it implicates something. When Jesus said this gospel, it implicates, Bishop, praise God, that there are other Gospels. Mm -hmm. And so, he wanted to specify the Gospel that he's talking about. So, he said, this Gospel, praise be the name of the Lord, because there are other Gospels that's around. Paul spoke to the church in Galatia, praise God, in Galatians chapter number 1, and Verses number six, he says, I marveled that ye have so soon removed from him that calls you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. He says, it's astounding to me that, 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 that so quickly you, you, you just shift, praise God, from the gospel of Jesus Christ. He moves a little further and he said, it's not even another gospel. But, 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 but God bless you, Pastor Reed, praise God. But he said, you have perverted the gospel, he says. And the word perverted, dear praise God, is from the Greek word which means to turn in something else and we're living in a time praise God where the devil is trying to turn the gospel into something else but somebody say this gospel doesn't matter what you hear on YouTube praise God doesn't matter what you see and your feed and Facebook this gospel amen praise God the gospel of the kingdom good God I feel something coming on can I take my time and preach on this Thursday night amen praise God when we look at kingdom here because if we're talking about the gospel of the kingdom then the question is praise God what is the kingdom 
What is the kingdom? It is Dr. Miles Monroe, praise God, in his book, Kingdom Principles. He defines, praise God, kingdom as the governing influence of a king over his territory. Impacting it with his personal will, his purpose and intent, producing a culture values, morals, and lifestyle that reflect the king's desire and nature for its citizens, unquote. Amen. Praise God. So the kingdom of God, you and I as believer, we are called, praise God, to reflect Christ. You and I, praise God, supposed to be a reflection of the will of Jesus. Christ a reflection of the lifestyle of Jesus Christ when I look at you I should see Jesus desires in manifestation you are supposed to become so in Embedded and one with God that you possess the very nature of the king that have called you. Amen. Praise God. It was the apostle Paul who says the other day in Galatians, praise God, 2 and 20. He said, I am crucified. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but the Christ that liveth in me and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live, praise God, by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Would you touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, the life which I live is not my life. I've given up my will a long time ago I've given up my will amen praise God my desire and my way and I said nevertheless oh God not my will but thy will be done somebody clap your hands open your mouth and shout hallelujah Amen. Praise God. And now praise God, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. It, it is of utmost importance that we grasp, praise God, the concept of the kingdom. Because if we are to approach God and his words, amen, praise God, just from a religious perspective, then praise God, we will miss the true concept and purpose and power of God. Amen. Praise God. See, there is a unique difference between the kingdom of God and religion. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm not a part of a religion. I'm a part of the kingdom some of you sitting next beside some people that haven't opened their mouth all night. Amen. Praise God. But look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm a part part of the kingdom good God oh sha. feel an anointing coming on you get ready I feel the Holy Ghost in here amen praise God there's a unique difference between religion praise God and the kingdom one writer puts it this way he says praise God that religion is what man do and Till he finds the kingdom. Praise God. He, he said religion prepares man to leave the earth. But the kingdom prepares man to dominate. Praise God the earth. So man if you help me on a little volume. I promise you I'll blow this till every devil run out of town. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Religion focuses on heaven. Amen. Praise God. But the kingdom focuses on the earth religion praise God is reaching up to God but the kingdom is God coming down to man he said religion wants to escape earth but the kingdom impact influence and changes the world oh God. can I go further he said religion seeks to take earth to heaven but the kingdom seeks 
Jesus to bring life into her. Jesus the clear. Don't touch it yet, Mr. Keys, man. Praise God. I promise you, we're gonna have we're gonna do a little thing, but just hold off. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So religion, praise God, is seeking to bring the earth to heaven. Praise God. But the kingdom wants to bring heaven to her. Jesus the clear. That when you pray. Pray. Can I preach up here, bishops? Said thy kingdom come. Woo. I'm looking for some talkers in the night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in the heavenlies. Because when the kingdom come, there's some stuff that can't stay in your life. Oh God, somebody clap your hands and say, Lord, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom. Mm. Oh God, can I go a little further? It is Dr. Miles Monroe again, and I quote, he says that the Bible, the Bible, the Bible is about a divine project of governing earth from heaven through mankind. The Bible is about a royal family that is mandated. Somebody say mandated. That is mandated, praise God, to colonize earth from heaven. So what God does, praise God, is that God raises up men and women as citizens of the kingdom of God and mandates us with the responsibility to transform the world until it start looking like the kingdom of God. Oh God, can I say that again? God raises up you and I and mandate us, God bless you men of God, with an assignment to colonize earth until earth looks like the kingdom of God. That's why Jesus says, be in the world, but not of the world. Because even though I'm walking through this world, my citizenship is not from this world. Paul said, Paul said, I feel the Holy Ghost here, that we are giant ears then with Christ Jesus. And we're sitting in heavenly places. That's why we don't act like everybody else gotta feel something coming on that's why when people and your job losing their mind and going crazy because of what's going on in the world there ought to be a peace in your spirit because you know where you come from and you know who your daddy is can you help me preach this tonight look at the person beside you and say neighbor what are you worrying about what are you stressing about? <laughs> Lift up your heads. <laughs> Good God, I just need some help. <laughs> Holy gates. <laughs> and be you lifted up your last and door. <laughs> and the cat. Shut Feel the Holy Ghost in here. Somebody had to lift up your hands. Touch the other person. Lift up your hands. Don't you walk around with your head hanging down like you don't know who your daddy is. Somebody clap your hands. Open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. Oh God, and so here it is then because he calls us and he calls us to bring, praise God, the kingdom of God in manifestation and operation in the earth. It is here then that I got to pause parenthetically to ask you, what is your kingdom assignment? Help me preach this word. We're going to shout praise God, but I'll give you something to shout about before we shout. Look at the person beside you and say, neighbor, come on, talk to them. Look at them, say, neighbor, what is your kingdom assignment? What is the work that you are called to do in the kingdom of God? And what 
are you doing <laughs> to fulfill that assignment? <laughs> Good God Almighty. <laughs> no, 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 you got to watch this because <laughs> the truth of the matter is <laughs> some people <laughs> are on a quest for happiness <laughs> that they will never find <laughs> because happiness and fulfillment only come to a certain individual. Woo. Can I go a little deeper tonight? It's the first night, praise God. Let's just talk a little bit. Don't get it twisted because you can be successful and still be unhappy. In fact, some of the most unhappy people are successful people. You can be successful and unhappy and unfulfilled because success is all about you and there is a level that you can get to that you ask yourself what else what after you get your dream car what after you buy the house you've been wanting to buy all these times what happened after you make the millions of dollars it's still gonna leave a vacuum in you because you can't find true happiness until you understand your kingdom position and assignment. I want to preach now. It is Dr. John Maxwell who says, he said that there is a difference between success and significance. Can I say that again? <laughs> Dr. John Maxwell said there is a difference between success and significance because success is about adding value to your life, but significance is about adding value to other people's life. Oh God, I wish I could preach. And you can't live a life of significance until you tap into your kingdom assignment where you start in in other people's life. Oh God, good night, greater grace temple. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. It was Jackie Robinson who says that a life is not significant except for its impact on other lives. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. And that's what the kingdom does to you. When you are in the kingdom of God, it opens you up to the reality that it's not just about you. It's not about you living in your fine house. It's not about you driving your fancy car. It's about you you had in value and impacting lives around you so that other people can know that there is a king oh god of Ooh, that there's a king somewhere look at your neighbor say neighbor you want to be happy find your kingdom assignment there is nothing like when God used you to be a blessing in somebody else's life I feel the Holy Ghost touch your neighbor and say neighbor you are called to create impact Mother God bless your heart you are called, oh God, to impact the earth. Clap your hands, open up your mouth, and shout hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost here. Can I teach just a little more? It was Mark Twain who says, the American educator, he says that the two most important days in the life of an individual is the day you were born and the day you find out why. Can I say that one more time? The greatest days in the life of every individual is the day you were born and the day you find out why. Because when you
you know why you are here you become a force for the devil to reckon with with when you know why you're here the devil knows somebody mama is coming off of drugs when you know why you're here the devil knows somebody's son is gonna hear the gospel of the kingdom I feel like preaching here. Can I preach? It is interesting that I tell you then that every one of us is given a work to do in the earth. Every one of us is given a kingdom assignment. There is something that God has gifted you with when he called you. And God is counting on you to finish that assignment that he gives you oh God can I go further I said every one of us has been given an assignment and God is sitting down watching you to see what you gonna do with your kingdom assignment what you gonna do with the resources that I've given to you or are you going to prioritize the kingdom of God and said God you know what away with all my plans and I put your plans first I might talk about that tomorrow night uh, but in the text in Matthew, praise God, he put it there, praise God. I'm, I'm waiting on your son man to fix me back up. He said, praise God, when, when you start walking with God, beloved, you must understand the responsibility that is rest upon you and the expectation that the Lord have towards you. Here's how Jesus puts it. He said, which of you is going to build a city without first sitting down and count the cost? What is it going to take for you to finish it before you start? Lest happily you start it but you could not finish it and what God is saying is there come a time that you ought to sit down and say God you have given me something what is it going to take for me to do what you call me to do and I want to hasten to tell you that when God has given you an assignment sometimes you got to sit down and ask who you can count on and who you need to count out because some people are a threat to the assignment of God on your life. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. So man, I promise you, if you just help me, give me some base, I'll blow this up tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Some people are not good for where God is taking you. Oh God, when you're a kingdom citizen, you can't hang out with the wrong people. You got to watch your crowd. Can I preach? Like how I feel it here. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. When God called you, you got to sit down and don't examine the laws of association and the first law here is this association when God called you there are some people women of God that you got to totally disconnect yourself from because if you keep hanging with them they're going to drag you out of your assignment some of you right now need to dial some number in your phone and it block and hit delete because you know as long as I keep hanging out with this kind of people I'm not going to get there can I preach you and then you have a limited association and that some people you got to limit your time with them when you're a kingdom citizen I'm not menacing you I just can't be on the phone with you all that time 
preach boy I'm not writing you off I just got to prioritize the kingdom and if I'm prioritizing the kingdom we can hang out all the time and then you have expanded association you got to find some people like you that's kingdom minded and spend as much time around them because if you're if you're Joshua and you can find a Caleb honey oh God the devil is in trouble if you are Mary and you can find a Elizabeth the devil and his mother-in-law is in trouble somebody clap your hands open your mouth and shout hallelujah <laughs> my time is almost up praise God let me run to my close and so the challenge now is this it's not just to start out but the challenge is to finish what you have started it is Solomon king of Asian Israel who says in Ecclesiastes 7 and verse number 8 he said better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof and the patient in spirit than the proud in spirit God is not concerned about how you start what God is concerned about is how you finish your kingdom assignment shout at the person beside you and say neighbor you got to finish this honey I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Ah, you got to understand that God only reward people that finish their kingdom assignment. Ooh. Can I say that again? I see you only reward people who finish their kingdom assignment. Matthew 25, verse 23. The Bible said, His Lord said unto him, Well done. Somebody shout, Well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. And I will make you ruler over many. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord I want you to understand Jesus didn't say nice start my good and faithful servant he didn't say nice start my good and faithful servant uh -uh. he said well done my good and faithful servant shake the worshiper beside us a neighbor you gotta finish this God, I'm almost here, son, man. I talk to people all the time, Bishop. That tell me, who mean? Oh, I've done everything in the church. I've been preaching this gospel. I've been teaching Sunday school, moderate service, sing the choir. I've done the whole thing. And I'm just chilling out now. As if to impose that they have outgrown the kingdom. The devil is a lie. You can't outgrow the kingdom. You, you can't get to a place then you feel like you've preached enough you can get to a place where you feel like you serve enough because if you don't finish it don't means nothing oh god i feel the holy ghost somebody said well done my good and faithful servant see heaven is gonna be disappointing for a lot of people because jesus is not gonna say welcome my good and faithful servant uh -uh. this is not a welcome praise god well done done ask your neighbor neighbor what are you doing with all that anointing god placed on you talk to them what what are you doing i said talk to them look at them say neighbor some of y'all not talking to nobody i said look at your neighbor and ask them neighbor what have you done with all that god has placed inside of you i feel like preaching in here can we have a little church and then a close you got to understand because the plan of the devil is to get you not to finish your kingdom assignment and that's why the devil challenged you the way he challenged you 
and that's why the devil fights you praise God the way he fights you but you got to learn that it doesn't matter how the devil is fighting you or to keep on keeping on I came from New Jersey with encouragement for somebody and I come to tell you keep on keeping on give somebody a high five and say neighbor keep on keep it on ah jesus the clear in john 4 verse 34 jesus said unto them my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work jesus said i can't leave this job i've done oh no i got to finish this and anytime you start doing the work of god when i minister walking with the lord the devil is gonna send challenge on every side but you can't allow yourself to become discouraged you cannot allow the cares of life to shut you up and cause you to give up and your kingdom assignment but you gotta tell the devil devil the more you attack me is the more I'm going to press in the kingdom. I got to close right quick. But give your neighbor a high five and say name him. You can't get this courage now. You can't give him now. I heard the songwriter says I just can't give him now. I've come too far from where I started from ha, nobody ha, quiet look at your neighbor say nobody ha, told me ha, that the road would be easy ha, but I don't believe ha, he brought me this far ha, to leave me ha, tell the devil ha, I'm not true yet ha, I'm just getting started ha, feel the power of God in here I come to talk to somebody that COVID have shut you up some of you come in the house of God and you haven't said nothing all night all you're doing is bowing your head like you're dumb the devil is a lamb when you're a kingdom citizen you got power in you somebody jump on your feet shake your Shut a rubber, shake yourself and say, Devil, it ain't over yet. My best days are still good God of mine I'm closing right quick. And the question becomes, what happened? Y'all be seated for few more minutes what happened then beloved when you rise when you come under trials and tribulation what do you do when the enemy turn up the pressure what do you do when all hell begin to break loose I come to tell you it's not time to roll over and play dead you can't stop when you're tired you gotta stop when you finish oh god look at your name what's the name you can't stop singing on the choir because you're tired you gotta stop because you're finished you can't stop preaching in the pulpit because you're tired you gotta stop when you finish can i learn this thing tonight i heard Moses declared in Genesis 2 he documented in verse 1 and 2 thus the heavens and the earth were finished somebody should finish and all the hosts of them and on the seventh day God ended his work which he have made and rested on the seventh day the only time God rest was when he was finished oh God ask a neighbor neighbor are you finished yet ask them are you finished yet tell them answer me well if you don't finish yet what you
resigning about. If you don't finish yet, why you coming in God's house? Shutting up your mouth. You can't stop right now. You got to finish this. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you are the one. All right, I left that alone. But you got to learn then to remember in the dark what God told you in the light. Because when God called you into the kingdom, he speaks something in your spirit. And you got to remember what God said said you when the going gets rough and the rough gets going when you can't find nobody to give you a word you got to turn on the inside and remember what needs you start and remember what made you believe and begin to encourage yourself look at your neighbor say neighbor encourage yourself I got to close right now come on Soma let me try my wings in here look at your neighbor and say neighbor speak over yourself say neighbor speak over yourself encourage yourself in the Lord I heard the writer of Hebrew says in 1035 through to 39 he said cast not away cast not away your confidence therefore which is great recompense of reward for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of God ye might receive the promise for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and tarry not now the just now the just shall live by faith and if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition but of them that believe to the saving of the soul look at your neighbor say neighbor you can't draw back I come to talk to somebody that's slowly pulling back God sent me to tell you you can't draw back now you can't let go now come here brother Paul being confident of this very thing I feel the Holy Ghost here I said being confident of this very thing he which have begun a good work in me will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ sometime you got to lay hands on yourself and say God is doing a great work in me give me some house in here I say God cut the house up a little is doing a good work in me grab your neighbor shake them by their hand rock him and shake him say neighbor give me some house he that have cut the house up a little he that have begun a good work in me he's gonna keep me I feel like preaching in here because every now and then the devil will look at you like what are you doing what can these feeble Jews do but every now and then you got to do like Nehemiah while Nehemiah was building the kingdom Oh God, I said while Nehemiah was building the kingdom, they sent message to Nehemiah. Say, Nehemiah, come down here. We need to have a talk with you. Come down here and leave your assignment. Nehemiah said, um, I can't come down now. I'm doing a good work. I can't come down. I wish somebody would know that in here. Lay hands on yourself. Say I'm doing. Let me hear a little louder. A great work. I can't come down. I got to go. 
but I'll catch you tomorrow night. But give somebody high five. Say, neighbor, I am doing a good work. I don't care what the devil say. I don't care what the nation say. If I wasn't doing good, I'd have backslidden a long time ago. If I wasn't doing good, I would have draw back a long time ago. Pat yourself on the shoulder and say, rise up. You're doing good. Come here, Paul. I fought a good fight. I've kept the faith. I've finished my course. Paul said, Timothy, I didn't just start this. I fought a good fight. I mean, when the devil come against me, I put up a good fight. And I finished my course <laughs> give your neighbor a high five <laughs> and say neighbor one day if you're scared of the person you're sitting next to <laughs> if you're scared of your neighbor <laughs> move out of your seat <laughs> go find another kingdom citizen <laughs> you're not afraid of <laughs> slap them high five <laughs> say neighbor <laughs> I've fought <laughs> good fight you don't understand the amount of time I've got to tell the devil no Shako Raba I've kept the faith I got to get out of here but touch your neighbors and neighbor keep on fighting the battle is not over here I got to get up out of here but the Bible says that when Jesus was on the cross he gave up the ghost after he said it is Jesus Christ I feel like preaching Jesus said it is finished but when Jesus was finished we just got started look at your neighbor say neighbor this is your time to rise up for who know if you've been called in the kingdom for such a time as this I got to preach in here but I come to tell you you are called in the kingdom for such a time as this you couldn't come in earlier than the time you came in this is your time Mordecai said Esther the kingdom is looking for a woman for a man that don't stand up I feel like preaching in here God is looking for a man that goes in Lord I'm a stand up somebody who open your mouth say Lord I am going to stand up. Somebody jump on your feet. Take a stand. Say, God, I will stand up. Mordecai said, if you hold your peace, if you hold your peace, God is going to raise up deliverance. Thunder, greater grace temple. If you hold your peace, if you sit down with your stush self, if you sit down being tired, God is going to raise up somebody that goes stand. Touch three people, say neighbor, you can't hold your peace now. Mama Shato, Rakasha. 
fire. Now is not time to hold your peace. Now is time. Step out. God Almighty. Can I get six people off the choir? Just step out. Shatoraba. Step out. Mashato. Ripa ba ba ba. Shato riba. Step out. Mama. Shato riba. Step out. You are called. Some sleeping giants, preachers, wake up, singers, wake up, Rashato, Ribababa Shanda. I hear a kingdom sound in the house. Somebody stand up, open up your mouth. Esther. Say Mordecai, I know the danger, I know the sacrifice, but I'm gonna be the one. Shatoraba, Esther say I'm gonna be the one that the kingdom can count on. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor, I am the one. Lord God, I feel it here. Somebody lay hands on yourself. Say I am the one. That's why. The devil fight you so much. That's why the devil don't like you. You are the one that's going to take the kingdom to the next level. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Listen to church. Jamaica is waiting on you to rise up in your kingdom powers. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you're not just a face in the crowd. You're not just a not statistics. You are called. Somebody lay hands on yourself. Say, I'm called in the kingdom for such a time as this. Tell hell I'm coming. Tell devil I'm coming from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom suffered violence but the violence the violence take it where are the violence I need 20 violent people walk out of your seat take it Shato, I say I need 20 radical, violent people, walk out of your seat, say my days of sitting down is over, my days holding my peace is over, we need all hands on deck, if you're called to preach, preach the kingdom, if you're called to testify, testify about the kingdom, let the Lift your hands up closer. Lift your hands up closer. Finish your kingdom assignment. Man of God, woman of God, as I travel around the world preaching, I'm realizing that the church of God, the kingdom citizens, are going in a sleeping position. They come to church 
and they sleep eyes wide open you gonna let me preach it they come to church no grace no vibration coming from them Shato Raba. When you're a kingdom citizen, when you open your mouth, something's supposed to shift. But I came with good news tonight. Hold on to one person, grab them by their hand, I'm closing. Shake them by their hand, musician, you put your hands on them keys. And say, neighbor, you coming out tonight. You're coming out of silence. You're coming out of that drought. You're coming out of that deadness. Raya Shadow. Mama. Shadow River. Ma make sure. Shadow River. I feel a kingdom connection. I feel a kingdom connection. Make sure you're holding on to somebody. I want your giant hands right across the aisle. Everybody, giant hands. My assignment tonight is to wake up some kingdom citizens. Stretch right across the aisle. Make sure you're holding on to a part of the kingdom. Since COVID, man of God, some people still have not recovered yet. They sit on their home and they're watching me on live stream. I'm going to send a word for them tonight. COVID, steal their fire. Steal their joy. The devil is a liar. Shut up, Make sure you hold on to a part of the kingdom. Kingdom of God is vice activated. Kutu Shanda Rabahose. Manda Hasha. If we go and prioritize, prioritize the kingdom, we need the kingdom of God to be alive in us. Shato Raba, Masika Toja, Shanda Bahaya. Who open up your mouth now? Who hold on to that hand? Who open your mouth now? Who open your mouth now? Call the fire of the kingdom. Shato Riba. Who open your mouth? Who open your mouth? Feel the fire again. Feel the kingdom power again. Walk in kingdom authority again. Shato Rabba. Masi. Wake up. Wake up. Kingdom citizens. Wake up. I dare you to open your mouth. Let there be a sound. In dinner road tonight. Shato Rabba. Open your mouth choir. Who open your mouth, warriors? Shatter! Tell the devil it's not over yet. Shatter, rubber, mashanda. I go and run with patience. I go and run with patience. I'm not going backslide. I'm not going to turn my back on the kingdom. Shake the hand you're holding on to. Shatter, rubber. Shato Riba. Shh. Masi. Shato Raba. Some of you walking here tonight. Depressed. In the kingdom, you must be crazy. Depression have no place in the kingdom. Archbishop. You want me to tell you why you're so depressed? Because you're not about your father's business. When you're on kingdom assignment, you don't worry about nothing. You just trust God. You're holding on to the end now. Shanda Bahaya. We're going to open our mouth. And we're going to shout hallelujah. God all over this place. My assignment tonight is just to wake up some sleeping giants. I come to tell you, Samson. You still got another shake. Shato Rabba Baba Baba Sito. I say, Samson, you still got one more shake left. Judah, you still got another praise left. Raya Shanda, when I count to 
tree. I want you to open your anointed mouth. Shout hallelujah. Watch God move tonight. Church, are you ready? One, two, three. Shut. Yes. One, two, three. Shire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rise up. Rise up. Sit down, musician. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Sons of God. Arise. Sons of God. Arise. Good God Almighty. I just got three minutes left. I just got three minutes left. But I feel a vibration in here. Some people still looking around for me. Kingdom warriors, open up your mouth. Praise! Yeah, man, fire. That's how fire must burn. Manda Kusha. Shato Rabah. I'm finished preaching. You are called in the kingdom for such. That's why the devil couldn't pull you up. I'm closing. I preach the rest of tomorrow night. But stay in the kingdom. Tell somebody, tell them, stay in the kingdom. You may get discouraged. Stay in the kingdom. Because as long as you stay in the kingdom, in the ark of God, nothing can touch you. I, I want to talk to somebody that's drawing back. Stay in the ark. There is three ark. I'm closing. There's three arcs the Bible speaks speak about. The first ark was the ark of the covenant. Or the ark of Noah. The ark of Noah. Noah preached. He said the only people that will be saved is those that stay get in the ark of God. When you're in the ark of God. When you're in the kingdom of God. Some stuff can stay on you. Shut up. I've been telling the church every way. I don't know what depression feel like. They look at me sometimes like I'm funny. I haven't been depressed in years. Years. I live by the word of the kingdom. Two things you don't worry about. You don't worry about what you can change. Because if you can change it, just change it. Why worry about it? And you don't worry about what you can't change. You put it in the hand of the king. And watch the king move. You're a kingdom citizen. Shato Rabbah. When we, were go when we were coming through the airport, I looked at something and I said, my God. We came in. When we came down in Norman Manley Airport and we pulling in, running late and pulling in to get home to get some sleep. They said, we fill out the little farm, little entry farm they give us. And we pull in through and they pull us over. They said, sir, you have the electric farm? The electronic one? They said, no, we fill out this. They said, uh-uh, we upgrade. Some of you need an upgrade in your faith. You're laughing. But we got to stop. So I, I scanned the, the QR code, Bishop, and I fill it out. And I had that. My wife is with me and my son. So I think I cover them. So we went through now and reached at the, the custom officer. And she looked at it. And she said, you know what? I see your entry form. But I don't see none for your wife and your son. God Almighty. I thought I cover them. I said, uh uh, everybody got to cover themselves. <sighs> I didn't even know there was a message in that because that's not what I really want to talk about. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to take care of you. So while we're pulled back out of the line and doing all of this, my little son, he just sit down in his stroller. Not a care in the world. Because he know daddy got this. Y'all don't hear me. Some of you worrying about some stuff. Like you don't know daddy got this. 
God Almighty, good God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Turn to somebody and tell him, Daddy got this. So stay in the ark. Everyone that was in the ark was protected. The ark was a type of Christ. Once you remain in Christ, in his kingdom, nothing touch you. Unless God permit it. Second ark. The ark of the covenant. Anywhere Israel go, and they took the ark of the covenant, and they're in relationship with God, the king, everything will be all right. Turn to somebody, tell them, stay in relationship with the king. Because you cannot colonize earth if you're not in tune with the king. So as they take the ark of the covenant, they'll be all right. The third ark. That I never preach about. I never see it. Until I was reading a book the other day called. Seeing Christ in the tabernacle. Was the ark. Of a bulrush. And Moses mama. Put him in the ark. Of a bulrush. And Moses was sailing down the Nile. The same Nile that should have killed him. Because he was in the ark. Shatoraba couldn't touch him. Crocodile was in the Nile, but couldn't touch him because he stayed. Young people stay in Christ. Whole folks stay in the heart. Stay in the kingdom. Because you're called in the kingdom for such a time as this. Somebody lift up those hands. Keep holding them. Say, I am the one. I am the one. I'm the one that going to shift this earth. I'm the one that going to preach this gospel. I'm the one that going to take this gospel to the world. I am the one that going to break the curse of my family. I'm going to be the game changer. I am. Somebody say, I am the one. I accept the charge. Finish your kingdom assignment. Would you come to this altar? Everybody just come. Everybody. If you're in this house and you're not saved, you're not saved. You are not saved. It would mean that you are not in the kingdom yet. Life is only in the kingdom. I want you to tell the person beside you, excuse me, I'm coming down to the altar. Lift your hands and just run, come. You're not saved yet, come. If you're not saved yet, lift your hands. Lift your hands so I know you're coming. You're not saved. Lift your hands so I know you're coming. Shator Come on down, church. Come on down, church. Those of you that are not saved yet and you're coming, lift your hands. I want to, I want to see you. I want to talk to you. You're not baptized yet. Lift your hands high. Come, come, come up front, come up front. Don't lose your praise now. This is when you really praise God. Come on, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, kingdom citizens. Some people sitting down already. Some people, they, they over already. Some people over already. Come here, come here. Come here, come here lovely with God. Anybody else, you're not safe yet. Lift your hands high. Lift your hands high. You're not baptized yet. Lift your hands high. Lift your hands high. You're not baptized yet. Lift your hands high. Oh, come, come, come. Just walk down. You're not baptized. Just walk down. Walk down. Look at me. Look at me. I come from New Jersey to tell you. God is calling you in his kingdom. This is your night. Shatoda Bakasa. You need the kingdom of God in your life. God said, I want to give you the kingdom. God Almighty. Would you accept Jesus tonight as the Lord and Savior in water baptism? She said, yes. The kingdom rejoice over one soul. One person ready to baptize in Jesus. Is there anybody else? I'm coming to the church, but is there anybody else? You're not yet baptized. Lift your hand. You, come, come, the young man. Come. 
I'm just here to do my assignment, get out of your way. Anybody else not yet baptized, you're not a part of the kingdom. Church, why aren't you praising me? See, that's the problem. Let me tell you, let me tell you. That's the problem with the church. You pray for God to save people, but when God saved them, you just look. You're not ready for kingdom assignment yet, warriors. You think hell wants to see somebody walk out of darkness into this marvelous light? Praise the Lord. No longer bound. God is calling you, my brother. God is calling you.
chains holding me, my soul is resting, and it's such a blessing. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, I'm free. One more time, I'm free. My soul is resting, and it's such a blessing. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, I'm free. Convocation 2024. I believe that God has shifted our minds and has prepared us to work in the kingdom of our God. Tell a neighbor, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this. Come on, tell somebody, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. Hallelujah. I'm not going to wait until convocation is over. Whatever my assignment is, I'm going to finish it. I know the night is far spent. I'm going to invite everybody to stand as we bring this service to a close. But just per adventure, there is another soul who wants to say yes to the Lord. We want to give an opportunity to step forward and say, I'm ready to get into the kingdom of our God. Is there another person tonight? Just before we pray and before we go. Hallelujah. I'm free. Praise the Lord. You can be free tonight. No longer no bound. Longer bound. bound. No, no more chains. No more chains holding me. My soul. My soul is resting. Yeah. It's such a blessing. It's, it's just a blessing. A blessing. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise God. Praise so grateful tonight for the moving of your spirit in this house we may have walked into this house tired we may have walked into this house depressed we may have walked in this house with our minds in many directions but father we thank you for the spirit of God that has brought us to the place to remind us that each of us have a kingdom assignment. Father, I pray that when we leave from this house, that we will not just leave stirred by the preaching of God's word, but that we will leave this house transformed. The Apostle Paul challenged us and told us that we must not be conformed to this world, but that we should be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And so, God, I pray that you'll continue to renew the way we think, renew the way we work, renew the way we function in the kingdom of God. Thank you for reviving. Thank you for restoring. Thank you for encouraging someone who was on the verge of giving up. Thank you, Lord God, for encouraging the heart of the person who was halting between two opinions. Thank you, Lord God, for dealing with the hearts of those who are at the point of giving up and to let us know that the work, the assignment is not over until it is over. 
And so God, I pray for special grace. I pray for a special anointing to strengthen the minds and the people of God to do the work of the kingdom. Zerubbabel declare, it is not by might and it is not by power, but it is by my spirit, say the Lord. Strengthen the body of Christ tonight and give us a, a deeper, a stronger grip, hallelujah, a stronger determination that we're going to endure to the end. Thank you, Father, for your manservant tonight, for restoring his strength. We pray, God, that you'll restore unto him virtue and that you'll continue to speak to his mind, continue to speak into his spirit, continue, Lord God, to download into him that he will continue to deliver what thus saith the Lord to empower, to strengthen, to equip, and to encourage the body of Christ. Bless him and bless his wife and bless their children, O oh God, in the wonderful name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for every person who have come tonight. Thank you for those who are watching online. We pray that something would have been said, O oh God, to uplift them. And we pray that tomorrow, should the Lord tarry, that every person will be determined in their hearts and in their minds to come to the house of the Lord. Father, remember those who are gone ahead of us to their homes. We pray for your divine protection that you'll overturn every trap of the enemy. We pray that you'll give safe passage to your people, that you'll spoil the plan of the enemy and give us complete victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. We give you the praise and the glory tonight and we thank you for the soul, hallelujah, that has surrendered to the will of God to be baptized in the name of Jesus. We thank you for those that are going to be saved during this convocation. As a matter of fact, God, we're going to praise you in advance for that which you're going to do. Go with us now as we give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. And God's people shout amen. Now unto him.